The other day I arrived home and I said to my wife, you are loved by me. And she just looked at me like I was crazy and said, why don't you just say, I love you. I love you, three words. You are loved by me, five words. Now this was a profound lesson for me. And the lesson is this, to try to write and even to speak in the active voice as much as possible. Now the active voice, as I'm sure you remember from grammar school, is when the subject acts upon the object. For example, I love you, or Adam stole the post-it notes, or Kathy fired Adam for stealing the post-it notes. You get the idea. A lot of time in my writing class, I see people trying to sound extra fancy and professional by writing either in the passive voice or using buried verbs. For example, the documents were submitted by Susan last Tuesday, and a reply is expected at the board's convenience. Not only is that 17 words, but the passive voice makes it sound pretty clunky as well. What if it simply said, Susan submitted the documents last Tuesday. She anticipates the board will reply shortly. Two sentences, 13 words, and much easier to read, because the active voice makes it clear and concise. 13 words as opposed to 17? Hey, that's a savings of 25%. Now imagine what that would look like over your entire document. Now all that said, you don't want to use the active voice 100% of the time. And in my next video, I'll show you when it's best to use the passive voice.